Home. Where is home? For me, my philosophy is that wherever my body goes, my home is. That is wherever I go in the world, I always feel at home. And it's this knowledge, this presence that I have with me, perhaps this wisdom, that wherever I go, I do feel at home. As long as I have the right food um, and clothes, that's all I need. Of course, like devices help me to interact with the world, such as like, you know, a laptop and a phone, but it's not essential. I remember traveling to Bali for two months back in 2018. It was a beautiful experience. I had such a small backpack with me. I fitted about a couple of pairs of underwear and some socks, which I rarely used in Bali. Um, one pair of trousers, which turned into shorts, some swimming shorts and lots of vests and like something warm just to put on. Toothbrush, some, you know, um, had my phone with me with lots of memory to take lots of pictures. And um, that was it. I think a tripod and everything fitted in this small backpack. And that's all I had with me. And it was such a great experience because I felt so free. Having less material, materialistic items when you travel, it's just so nice. Of course, I miss other luxuries like having a laptop and you know, doing some video editing on the go. But however, I wanted to take, I wanted to challenge myself that I knew I'd be okay. And it was such a nice feeling that when I went to Bali, I had such a small backpack with me that wherever I went to all these different hotels all around the country, that um, all around the perimeter, took about a month and a quarter, I believe. And then after that, I went to Raja Ampat, which is known as the last untouched place on earth. Very, very beautiful. Again, that's all I had with me was just this small backpack, you know, swimming goggles and yeah, other, other little things I needed, but it all fitted in this very small backpack. And I felt light, I had my, just a bottle of water with me and a phone for navigation. And it was really nice to just be. And it was such a nice break to have after, you know, many years of like working and retreats and, you know, self-employment. And I think that I say I challenged myself, but I knew that I could do it because I thought, well, I'm not going to need much. I'm, it's not like England or another cold country where you need to put lots of clothing on. Bali is very humid, very warm. And I had some good equipment with me. Um, I noticed that after two months of wearing the same like trousers, like, you know, shorts like every day and washing them every day, they, they, dry, they, they, they dried out very fast that they started to get a bit more worn out and, you know, climbing and walking and, and I was like, yeah, this is why we need more clothes sometimes. It wasn't that bad. There was just minute sort of, you know, rips and stuff I, I noticed, um, which I did end up buying some more clothes out there and replacing, which was very good in a, in a good country that is fairly cheap. I really highly make, recommend it. Um, you know, me going to Costa Rica, I went to America, the same, similar sort of way, but Bali was the most lightest I traveled. Traveling light. I remember taking the Pandora Star with me as well, a uh, light machine. But this is philosophy that I guess that I've had for many years that, you know, wherever I go emotionally that I feel at home. There have been some situations in my life where I've been with the wrong people, the wrong company, and I've wanted to escape but it wasn't escaping me, it was escaping the presence of those people who are, you know, just not healthy. So yeah, you know, the having solitude and having less things when you travel is it's such a nice thing to experience. I mean, you can take everything you need with you to feel at home, but really when you have the right company, um, you know, when you just have like meditation and yeah, there's another thing I took with me was like headphones, quality headphones, and they lasted me, you know, really well. But like in everyday life, it's when you're at work, I mean, 
you know, I've done really long shifts in the past, you know, 13, 14 hours. I've been self-employed, helping other, other businesses, you know, really long shifts, sometimes being away from home um, for weeks, months, sometimes a year. I've done that before. And yeah, I felt at home wherever I was going. And that's something really important to do, that home is important but also the emotional feeling of, you know, being at home as well, like wherever you go, because it's like, wherever you pack up your house, it's like, it's not just the home, it's the area that's important. And that's why I love being here at the retreat in, in nature, surrounded by nature. I mean, there are a few people with houses locally that in this cul-de-sac, in this hamlet that we live, um, passing aside trans and physical mediumship center. And it's beautiful, you know, lots of energy here. Um, and saying that when I spoke about Bali a minute ago, that Bali was beautiful, but like coming back here at the retreat, there's an energy here, which is very beautiful. And I guess I, I've taken that knowledge with me wherever I go is that, yeah, wherever I go, I feel at home. And that's important to take with you because it's like, you know, where are, where are you present right now? Are you feeling in this moment, are you feeling present with yourself in this environment? And that's just, that's, you have to meditate with it. You know, life, you need to live your life in such a way you don't need a holiday. You know, take every step as a, as a meditative thought, a thought where if you're cleaning the house, if you're just tidying up, just allow your mind to become blank and really feel centered and calm. Right now, we all need like a home, you know, if, even if you don't own a home, it's important to really feel at home wherever you are, because then you can be content, you can be happy with yourself, with life. And even though how emotionally upset we can get or triggered, it's important to just time, take the time and to reflect. And at the time, it probably, you have no idea why you're feeling like that but everything makes sense after a while. These are just some thoughts of wisdom I wanted to share with you that just remember that if you don't feel at home, just know that you have your physical body to house your spirit, your soul, and wherever you go, you could have that contemplation, that space for meditation, that space for creativity, for thoughts, for renewal and sleep and feeding your the house that holds your spirit, your soul. And that is very important. Um, it can take many years to master. It can take less time or more time. It depends how emotionally sort of stable you are and those emotional muscles are more toned at your presence in your body, you know, and, and mental, physical health, you know, the, the merging of the physical and the, the emotional body and how relaxed you are in this, in this, you know, in your space, in the, in the area that you are in. But having space is important. Having your own space to, to think, to feel when you're doing your routines, your mini rituals that you do in your daily life, that just having that space for you just to, you know, make yourself look good, feel good, do your hair, sort your clothes out, make you smell nice, it's all these things that are not just for others, but for yourself, of looking after cleaning your home, you know, good hygiene. It's all important, you know, it's like you wouldn't live in a dirty house, you know, so you need to respect your body in the same way of keeping it healthy and happy. That, to me, that's important in, in life, is really honouring the peace that you have within yourself, in the presence that you have. Anyway, thank you for listening. Um, I just wanted just to share this little bit of information, that I guess, that I have with me all the time. And I'm hoping that it'll help you in some way or another. Feel free to comment and, and leave your thoughts and how you feel at home in yourself. It's always good to learn from one another and to really gain clarity and, and wisdom and philosophy and all those great little golden nuggets of life that, you know, help us feel more complete and happy. Thanks for listening and I'll speak to you next time. Bye.